Hey everyone, it's Billy Hale, and today I have something very cool, actually. I was telling this to my friend Jason, and he said, you must shoot a video. And I thought, I better shoot a video, because this will all be under the dash of a truck soon enough. So, here's what I wanted. I wanted a musical horn, but none of them, I didn't like any of the audio on the musical horns. And then I wanted, I thought, you know what, it's 2019, I should be able to pick what's on my horn. So I went looking. I'll move around so you don't get bored. I went looking for such a thing. There is a horn with one upload. It's a 21 amp. It was 80 bucks. So I was like, man, that's too much money. I don't like the one option. Um, so then I started looking more. Now, there are videos of what I'm doing here. Mine's slightly different. So I'm going to show you how to use an inexpensive Adafruit, kind of an Arduino type of thing to uh, give yourself nine sounds of your choosing, change them anytime you want, how to trigger them, and how I'm gonna mount it in the car. And I'm also gonna have the links in the description, so when you get to the point where you're like, okay, what? You can go down there, and uh, there'll be lots of good information. So, first, what are you talking about, Jim? All right, this is an Adafruit sound effects card. Amazon.com has them. You can get them in a few days. This has a USB input and a 3.5 jack output built into it. The link I'm going to give you in the picture, it doesn't show these, it doesn't show the 3.5 jack, but I can tell you that that's the page I ordered on. Let me take a chair. And uh, that this one did have that. So there's one piece of information for you. Um, it also has these, I'm sure there's a technical term for this. I'm all new to this world of these cool little gadgets, but. These come with that, and I did solder this in, and I'll tell you why in a minute. So the first thing you're like is like, why is this cool? It's cool because this is like a USB card. You'll take this, you can plug it into the USB of your computer, take WAV files, three WAV files from the internet, look up horse, chicken, cow, foghorn, police siren, gunshots, download them, and you can upload them to this board, and then rename them T01, T02, T03, and that puts them on these pins that you can then activate. The other cool thing is you can put T01 latch, and that means you could click a button and then it would play until you clicked it and stopped it again. I've done that, it's annoying. I probably will undo it and not do that, but, but it's an option, so you can do all these things. This thing is not expensive at all. There's nothing to program and nothing to know. It's all built in. So um, I would say first, get this in, plug it into your computer, make sure it sees it. Go get your WAV files, drag a few over for samples, make sure it's T01, you know, the number, and, uh, and that's how this is gonna operate. Now, the next part I think is very important to know is this is a five volt system. So no 12 volt, and you're probably gonna be putting this on your car, although people do use these for uh, like costumes and, and uh, haunted houses and stuff. But for your car, you're gonna want a, and I'll have a link to it, a 12 volt, five volt uh, unit here, it just is a wire. I'm gonna show you this real fast. This is a house unit that puts out 12 volts. I've owned one of these since I was about 10 years old when I got my first CB radio. And uh, I'm just using this to create everything here in the house and not have to sit in my truck while I'm doing it. You don't have to own such a thing. I'm just showing it to you. So this is going out 12, being converted to five, going in the USB, turning on the green light. Then I'll just bring you all the way down the chain. Uh, forgive my wires, there's nothing I can do. 3.5 uh, cable. So I didn't order one. I'm like, man, I must have one. All I could find were video audio cables, as you can see here, and I played around with it and realized that you only needed to plug in one. So that takes us to the amp. So you've got your sounds, they're in the board. I'm gonna show you how to trigger them in a minute. They're going out to any car amp that you want. This is a $15, 100 watt amp. The great part is, is that if I get this in my truck and think, hey, this is not loud enough, um, you can buy another one. You can buy a bigger one. You can actually spend some real money if you wanted to. So this is 12 volt powered, and I would hook that up to your accessory switch, or I'm actually gonna run all this off of one switch. I'll turn it on and off from the truck, so I could leave it on if I was at a car show or something like that. But it's going in here, and these RCA inputs link to this too. And then I was thinking, do I need to wire these together or what? 
I just took one channel out and uh, hooked it up to this speaker, which I'll also have a link to. I'll just keep saying it. And so this is a slightly nicer speaker than like the $8 speakers that are out there. My goal is to have the sounds actually, If I really am hoping that it sounds like a real air horn or a real train or something like that when it's on the truck. I'm not gonna find out till I get it now. So now let's talk about triggers. Um, previewing what I'm using right now, but my first best idea was this board. I didn't even know these things existed. You know, they're wafer thin. And so I thought, this is how many sounds I have. And I can do rows of animal sounds, um, weird sounds, uh, truck horn sounds, you know, and stuff like that. And I cannot make, th this doesn't simply wire up to the board. Um, I'm sure there's more learning you could do to make this work, and I might check it out in the future. But I wanted to keep it simple, so then I found these buttons. And uh, they cost almost nothing. I'm going to mount these onto a uh, single piece like this and then put Velcro on the back. And that way I can move them if I need to, but they're always going to live together like that. The trick is going to be remembering what's what, but I'll worry about that later. So to get from the button to the board, you're going to need these guys. And uh, then once again, they cost nothing. Uh, they come with various kinds, so you can get um, male, female, male, male, female, female. You can have it all. And, you know, that's like six bucks, I think, for all those cables. Which, of course, we don't need all of them, but that's how it works on Amazon. So what you do is you plug it in. You plug three of them into your button. That's coming off to your board. One and two, if you're looking at it like this, are... Uh, connected to the buttons themselves. Three is a ground. So one thing that I haven't tried yet that I'm going to have to figure out is what about the ground on this and this? Now ultimately I could always create a ground here to solder to and I could if I have to I can solder all these uh, grounds to one ground and that'll work so I'm not sweating it too bad. Then you hook it up to the uh, correct sound right here from zero all the way down to nine, I believe. And that's that. So we have the Adafruit being powered by this five volt regulator or five volt converter from 12 volt power, 3.5 out to your 100 watt amp, single channel, single channel out to your outdoor speaker mounted somewhere under your car. And um, I'm probably gonna put this in a container of some sort. The other idea is that I Velcro this on top of the amp. I don't know, I'll figure it out when I get there. And then for the end of the video, we're gonna actually have a bonus. Hold on, uh, don't, don't stop after you hear the noise because the bonus is pretty interesting and uh, it's a, it'll be a different video. So then um, this is our test to see if it works. I'm gonna push the red button. Hold on, I didn't push it. So that amp actually has a volume knob on it. It's turned down, I can turn it up. And then we'll push the second button. So that's about a quarter loud with the uh, speaker facing into the table. And so there you go. It's a uh, horn that will play almost anything from whistles to uh, multiple horn sounds, people talking, whatever you want. Uh, my son wants to make a, a sound effect for this, so we're going to do that too. And then I'm going to have all these hooked up. Now, it's awesome. It can be used at a car show, um, whatever. You could use retro sounds. But I digress. Let's talk about the coolest thing that I haven't figured out yet. The same company makes this sound of, or this uh, receiver card and so it talks to one of these and the theory is that I'll push the button here and that's gonna talk to my Adafruit board and then make the sound come out which means I can be outside the truck and when people are looking at the truck I can make it whistle or fart. That's a sound I have or uh, have information about the truck. And so this is actually a lot more complicated than this other unit and it's gonna involve more pieces and more wiring. So I'm gonna make that a whole separate video and once I figure it out. So there you go, it's a custom made USB uh, uploadable uh, horn for your car that you can make do anything up to nine sounds. And of course you could do one sound or two sound or three. All right, I'm Billy Hell. Go to BillyHale.com and check that out. There's a lot of cool stuff up there. 
from music to shirts to cars. And uh, hit subscribe. And I know you're liking it, so hit the like. All right, y'all. Simmer down now.